What's going on everyone, it's Joe here, back with Jar Jar Jargon. If this is your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. The first two episodes of Ahsoka premiered last night, and with that came the shocking revelation that Thrawn and Ezra, who were once believed to be stuck in the Unknown regions, are actually in a whole nother galaxy. The introduction of this whole new galaxy and the ability to travel between it and the existing one is actually extremely important for the future of Star Wars. Up until this point, there's been no mention of an existing outcome outside galaxy in current Star Wars canon. In episode two specifically, we see Morgan Elsbeth activate some sort of map that points to an external galaxy. And this is really, really interesting because we actually see the Pergil of kind of circling around it, similar to how the wolves were at the World Between Worlds in Rebels season four. This seems to be confirmation that the Pergil are some sort of intergalactic species that have the ability to travel between galaxies. And we now know that they took Thrawn and Ezra outside of their known galaxy into the new one at the end of Rebels. Another interesting tidbit is when they're at the temple here, Balin Skull points out that he recognizes it has not been built by Jedi. Now Morgan Elsbeth says that it was built by an ancient people from a distant galaxy. So who could that be? Well, one answer that a lot of people seem to be going towards is the Zepho or the Zephonians, who were an ancient people who built a lot of relics and temples around the galaxy. We've actually seen some of them in Jedi Fallen Order. And of course we went to the planet Zepho in that game. I'm not quite sure that this is where we're headed because those people actually came from the planet Zepho from what we understand. Now they are an ancient people, but they're not from a distant galaxy. My mind immediately went to something like the Yuzhan Vong. Now, the Yuzhan Vong were the primary enemies in the New Jedi Order series. That's a Legends book series. They actually traveled from a distant galaxy and came into the core galaxy of Star Wars that we know of, and they had no affinity for the Force. Uh, Force users couldn't even sense it in them. They were very, very different from what we know in the Star Wars galaxy. They used a lot of biological weapons and uh, they didn't use ships or technology of any kind. So it could be something like the Yuzhan Vong that would have come and built this map. Uh, I'm not really sure that would be the case though because I think they would have tried to take over the galaxy from what we know of everything in the, in the past. Because we got confirmation that Morgan Elsbeth is a Night Sister or a survivor of the Night Sisters, I'm all but inclined to believe that this ancient distant species is some form of the Night Sisters. That's why their magic is so different from the Force. She seems to know a lot about these ancient relics and ruins and what's kind of going on outside of the galaxy. So I think it's very possible that their ancestors actually came from a distant galaxy a long, long time ago. Even the temple where Ahsoka initially found the map is said to have been created by the Witches of Dathomir. So I definitely think there's a lot going on with the Night Sisters that we're just not aware of yet. We still know very little about them as of now. With other leaks and rumors suggesting that Thrawn has been trying to build some army of the dead in this distant galaxy, it's very, very possible that he's already working with people who have Night Sister magic in the other galaxy. That will confirm for us that those are the ancient people that she's referring to when she's at the map here. One thing is for sure though, in the introduction of this new galaxy unlocks a lot of possibilities for Star Wars. We already don't know where Ahsoka and Ezra and Sabine are during the time of the sequel trilogy. Perhaps they have to go back to this galaxy or they get stuck in this other galaxy for some reason. So only time is gonna tell guys. I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this separate galaxy. Who do you think the ancient civilization is who has traveled to the core galaxy in the past? Leave a comment below Below, and please do hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. The Lova Numatafa.